Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another book review. Um, and it's going to be a book of the month review. However, I did not get this from book of the month. I actually got it for free. Um, not that it was like sent to me in like some weird PR thing. No. So I was on Facebook a few months ago and then there was like this little ad that said, oh, click here for like a free advanced reading copy of this book. So I clicked on it, I read the synopsis of the book, and I was just like, oh, you know, that sounds really good. And they were like, we'll send it to you for absolutely free. Just put in your information, that's all you have to do. So I put in my information, and I completely forgot about it. And then it popped up in my mail, and I didn't have to pay anything, didn't put in like a credit card or anything like that. So it's the um, advanced reading copy of this book right here. It is The Silent Patient by Alex... Michaelides, 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 something along those lines. Um, and it wasn't until I um, was going to pick my book of the month for January, I was scrolling through, and as you know, I always pick psychological thrillers, and this was on the book of the month. And I was just like, hey, I have that book. So I moved it to the top of my reading list so that I could do a review on it because it coincided with my book of the month for January. And I started reading it yesterday at 4 p.m. And I finished it at 9 p.m. So, um, yeah, it says on here, it says February 2019. But I'm pretty sure it's for the January book of the month. So maybe, like, book of the month gets, like, a special, like, month in advance thing. I don't know. But here's The Silent Patient. So, um, as I said before, it is a psychological thriller. This book is about um, a psychotherapist named Theo Faber, and he is fascinated with this woman named Alicia Berenson. I believe that's how you say her name. And he's fascinated with Alicia Berenson because six years before this book takes place, Alicia Berenson shot her husband six times, no, five times in the face, and he died. And then after that moment, she never spoke another word. So she um, is in a psychiatric facility. She has been silent slash mute for six years. And the psychiatrist comes along, the psychotherapist comes along and he's like, you know, I'm going to help her. I want to know why she stopped talking. I'm going to be the one to break through to her. Yada, yada, yada. So the book basically follows Theo and his quest to help Alicia. It goes over some of the sessions that they have together and it also digs into Theo's personal life as well, um, his marriage and things like that. Um, so it's all through the viewpoint of Theo and then at one point it does switch over to Alicia and it's in the form of her diary that she was keeping up with um, before she killed her husband. They're very short chapters, they're not chapters that kind of like drag on. Most of the chapters are maybe one, two pages. Um, and each chapter ends, each chapter doesn't end with a cliffhanger, but it ends kind of making you be like, okay, like I wanna know what happens next. So um, for me, there's not really a dull moment. He goes, he talks to like Alicia's relatives and um, Alicia's husband's relatives, just to try to get a better picture. Um, there is, a humongous twist at the end uh, just like I like <laughs> and the crazy part is like the last chapter I was just like wait 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 and I was like well maybe you know this is this is what happened and and you know da 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 and I was like yeah that's it and then I was just but I don't know how I couldn't make it work I couldn't make it fit but I was so sure that I was right lo and behold like a chapter later I was just like what <laughs> So yes, um, I definitely really, really, really liked this one. This was my third book of um, this year. And it did not disappoint. This may possibly be in the running for standout books of 2018, but it's really like way, way, way too soon to tell. So you know how that goes. But um, yeah, I highly recommend this one. So if you are a psychological thriller fan and you have book of the month, or even if you don't have book of the month and you're looking for something to read, The Silent Patient is definitely um, 
one that I recommend. It was pretty good. I stayed up to read it. One weird thing that I've been noticing is that the psychological thrillers that I've been really loving are being, they're written by English authors. So there's some English slang that I, I, I don't know what it is. Like in one book I was reading yes, yesterday, <laughs> uh, she was talking about a chippy. And I, I was like, what, what the hell is like, what's a chippy? And with enough context clues, I was able to figure out it was kind of like, like a brothel or something like that. But I was just like, what is this? I don't know. I don't know if it's like English authors are just like coming out with the hits or something, but I am not mad at it. Uh, so yes, 10 out of 10 recommend this. And yeah, <laughs> that is all I have for you today. It's going to be super short, little splurb on my book of the month. So if you are book of the monthers and you picked something different or if you picked the same thing that I ended up already having in my book collection, let me know what you thought of it. I would love to hear your feedback and your comments. I enjoy interacting with you guys. Um, yeah, that's all we got today. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.